So I'm not going to go much into introdu introducing myself because by the time I'm done, you're going to get to know more than you bargained for because I use a lot of um, anecdotal stories from, from my companies. So I'm not going to talk that much about myself. I, I do like to get a sense of who's in the room. So I've got a, a sense that we have a diverse audience. But I'd like to know how many of you have heard of the term Lean Startup before? It's about half. And how many of you are in a startup or want to, to do a startup? Okay, so about half. And so that's good. And so I, I like to ask that question just to get a sense of one, you know, just how many people know about Lean Startup. But then two is that a lot of these ideas, even though they came out from startups, um, I believe that they are not just restricted to startups. A lot of them came out not even just from startups, but from startups and the tech world, the software world. But their background is, is deeply rooted in, in concepts that go back you know, 40, 50 years into Toyota production systems and manufacturing and lean. And it's a lot of, lot of ideas brought into this framework. And Eric has also been, he just came out with a book which is doing really well, bestseller, uh, New York Times and Wall Street Journal. But he also showcases many examples that are not your typical software projects. These ideas have been applied in everywhere from government, believe it or not, to tech companies, to hardware companies, um, to all kinds of businesses. So we'll, we'll see some of those examples, and hopefully you'll, you'll kind of see that reflected in, in, in these ideas as well. So I'd like to start off by, by way of introduction to say that I'm an entrepreneur. I love entrepreneurs, and I, I always hate to start with this slide, but this is the sad reality, is that most products fail. So it's not just limited to startups anymore, it's just products in general fail. And this is not news. If you have, if you have been in a startup or even in a company building products, you have, you have seen, witnessed this firsthand. The more interesting statistic, though, is that to about two-thirds of the companies that do succeed report having drastically changing their plans along the way. So what they started out with, that initial plan A, is not really what pan, panned out. And they drastically are in search of finding a plan that works, um, which, is, which is the key idea here, is that the, what separates a successful product from those that don't quite make it is not that perfect plan. It's not that initial idea, but it's finding that path to a plan that works. And up until now, finding that better plan B or C or even Z has been based more on gut, intuition, and luck. There's been no systematic process for iterating through that process. And that's what running lean, lean startups, customer development, all these ideas we'll talk about today are really about. It's going from that plan A to a plan that works. And the key part there is before running out of resources, because that's what constrains startups and the reasons why they don't, they don't get there. 